So let, I feel like you gotta go that way, my love. Sure. Yeah, we can put and Carl. You gotta go this way, and then you, I go this way, and then you right. come here, and then we. I mean, kind of, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, we that, have to take that won't work. As long as you can pan that camera around. Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Punk People here, and today I'm here with the Descendants, and I can't believe this is happening right now. So let's do this. You guys ready? Oh yeah, here. we are ready, totally. What would you guys do if you woke up one day and your faces was the Milo character? <laughs> kind of halfway there already. I want, hey, he well, has one to of us answer. already has this problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, people, t when they first meet me, they say, wait, you look a lot like that, which, I mean, it's a cartoon, but some, some, something about that cartoon captured elements of my face that are already there, so it's kind of bizarre. So maybe I'm already halfway there. Uh, I think I, I guess I'd probably just kind of look in the mirror and go, "Meh, okay." <laughs> it's the the evolution is complete. So yeah. yeah. If it happened to me, I would go, "Oh, great!" I, does, that, does that mean I magically get to be 300 percent smarter too? <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I'd be asking, "Why is it that I have a completely flat one-dimensional head after having a three-dimensional one for the last 52 years?" All right. And for me, it'd be more like, if I'm a cartoon, I'm going to go try some cartoon stuff, like jumping off buildings and doing all the good stuff that Wile E. Coyote Road gets away runner with. Good point. Point. Yeah. What am I doing in Flatland? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Bill, how is your health? I was worried when, you, when I heard about your surgeries. Are you secretly a superhero? Ha <laughs> ha. No. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I have had uh, several pretty... Uh, uh, involved surgeries, but I'm fine now. I'm good for another 100,000 miles. <laughs> Milo, if you could find the cure for any disease through scientific research, which disease would you pick? Cancer. It's just, you know, it's one of those... It, and of course, <coughs> cancer is going to require cures for all the different versions of cancer. Uh, not one cure fits all. But I mean, and that's what's made it such a challenge for people. But so many people, you know, it, it's it's just a, it's a it's a life record for so many people. And uh, you know, I don't know how many years ago, you know, some one of our presidents said we're we're going to find a cure for cancer in my administration. And boy, was he wrong! It's one of the biggest challenges facing uh, you know uh, modern medicine. Mm -hmm. What is the first step that I should take in order to? achieve all the first step step is to quest all that's it that's it that's it drink a ton of coffee yeah i was gonna yeah. say <laughs> when 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 it's age appropriate start with coffee so five years ago so like yeah in my case yeah that was age nine but in your case uh, that's that's up yeah. to your parents i guess but yeah, coffee will will help yes. will help get it started. Yeah. Or maybe Mountain Dew because that's more. Yeah, yeah Mountain Dew. That's Mountain probably Dew. that might be on the menu, or maybe not. Yeah. And you uh -huh. have to find friends who will help you in your quest for all too. That's the important part. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, clearly. Did any of you ever partake in decaf? Uh, no, I mean only. It, it, I think all of us maybe have somehow been slipped decaf by accident, and then you just. You just curse the gods because you thought that you had calf and it was really decaf and it ruins your day. So it's it's not a pleasant experience. Um, but I think it's probably happened to all of us, yeah. yeah. If you could go in the past and say anything to your kid's version of yourself, what would you guys say? Here, someone else go first. I can't think of something. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I would have told myself uh, not to take some of the social struggles um, that I was having you know, quite so seriously, not let those social struggles actually affect my personality for, uh, for the worse. Uh, maybe just let things kind of roll off my back more, not, not take things so seriously. Yeah, I'd have probably said, believe it or not, it is all going to work out okay. I would have told myself as a kid to work harder. <laughs> Honestly, like, <laughs> yeah. Work Looking harder. back, yeah. Looking back, I could have done more. Right. Yeah, I mean, mine's kind of related to his. It relates to so social interactions, of which it took me so long to figure that out. And specifically, when we're talking about girls, girls, do girls still have cooties for you? 
I, I think girls had cooties for me way later than they were supposed to have cooties. You mean they continued to have them until you were much, until much older? Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, through high school, girls had cooties. Well, it's like, well, what, what's up with that? Milo, Milo yeah. don't yeah. they, I mean, don't they, don't they always have them? No, I mean, you're supposed to kind of at some point, you know, think that they're not just aliens from another planet, which eventually I did, but, you, didn't you know. You have sisters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. part of it. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah no, the I, history. they were aliens from another planet until yeah. I was probably, like, junior year of high school. Yeah. You know, so figure that one out quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Your song Shameless Hail is one of my favorites. What was your inspiration to write it? You give that to Carl. Uh, I wrote the lyric and Stefan wrote the music. Um, the lyric, I think there's a lot of holier than thou people in the world and it's just kind of calling for them to like put up or shut up, you know, pretty much. Like either you're either you're in, in favor of this deeply spiritual thing where you have to forgive and admit all people to your thing, or you're just another hypocrite. Yeah. What would you do if Starbucks offered you a million dollars to do a commercial for them? Become two hundred and fifty thousand dollars richer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's really that's true, probably, but I mean, that's the first thing yeah, that comes to yeah. mind. Oh, well, and like, do I get free coffee? That's probably that's the, uh, the toughest of the questions, really, because yeah, yeah, we all we all say, you know, we wouldn't endorse such a corporate thing. And I, li I like my local places in my town, you know, that are independently owned. And we all say that. But if somebody fanned that all that scrim in front of you, what would what would you do? Yeah. Do I have a card where I can walk in and just go, I'll have the iced Americano and I'll be at the door yeah, the and then just walk Star out? I, can, I, can the make permanent better, I got better coffee at my house than at Starbucks. I know, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough one because... I, yeah, I, I don't have that. You know. I do gold bond powder for a lot less. <laughs> uh, gold bond powder, they probably give you like 15 bucks and some yeah. meth, and you know? Bu yeah, bus pass. <laughs> 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 Milo, what would you do if you could rule the world? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd probably s stop all the wars. That would be the one thing. It's just there's so much suffering that happens because people decide they have to, like, you know, conquer each other or, you know, steal steal other people's money or, you know, just, just kind of be... They want. They want to be. They want to be ruler. But if I was ruler, that all that would all that would stop. No wars. Yeah, that would be something. That's a awesome idea. Do you guys still not want to grow up? I we I really not want to grow up. It's getting harder though. You see this gray hair coming in here? Yeah, I mean, you know, brain surgeries and all. It's getting harder not to grow up. But I'm still fighting the good fight. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of my my recent. You know, le leaving of science is. Pro I kind of put that in the same bucket as like, what I what I do now is get to be a perpetual adolescent, and and that's perfectly fine by me. Yeah. I'm not done growing up. Um, I'm so I'm, yeah. I I don't want to, and I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> My wife claims that I'm I'm pretty much like living with a 12 year old, so I don't think I've really, you know. Uh, grown up either. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've really made that that hit you. Yeah. What is the most rewarding thing about being in The Descendants? Uh, it started being, the reward was trying to kind of learn how to play music in, in our little, we'd make these little practice rooms with carpet on the wall so the cops wouldn't come, you know, to make, the, make it not noisy. But, um, and then, you know, then reward came also by being able to um, sort of support ourselves, you know, pay the rent from it, uh, as well as finally having learned how to play. But then the, then re the real reward for me has come in the, the, the notion that, you know, these guys are my family and that, um, uh, you know, my f actual blood family was pretty disjointed and all over the place, whatever, I'm not, not going to get into it but at any rate I, I kind of needed a, a, a family to have you know and so I have one now I have the standard fear of losing one member or more of the band 
Yes. That would that that does scare me. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes, clearly. Okay, so here's the comparison questions: caffeine or farts? Caffeine. Uh, it's a tough one for me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who, who is yeah. probably the most responsible for the latter. It's, yeah, it's true. I guess you guys have all moved on. I'm, 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 I you you left me behind on, in the... It's, you, not, whoop, whoop, it's whoop. not moving on or not. Those are just events that happen. You know, I don't, you don't, I don't like will a fart into being. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, but I almost wonder if you're able to. Once I was at a restaurant and I walked out the door because I had a fart. I didn't want to be rude. I was saving it the whole entire, like, rest, the whole entire dinner. So then I farted. It was like for two minutes straight. It was like, <laughs> yeah. It See, was so loud. Ones. That's that. Those are the moments of of beauty in life. <laughs> you know, it's like it's un it's you know distilled beauty in gaseous form. <laughs> Flammable solids. <laughs> yeah. I have like a um I I I had you know ADD as a kid right so they um. And I tended to drift off and think about other things in the middle of class in junior high. Um, and one time in the middle of one of these kinds of episodes where I was clearly not paying attention, I just absolutely, in a, in a, a virtually silent classroom, uh, did a fart. Not dissimilar to the one you're describing there. And uh, I had no friends other than Carl for the rest of junior high after yeah. that. I, I, it was, it was a, a defining up. moment in my social structure as a young person. Yeah. But I feel like in my school, that would have got been the thing that actually get me a couple friends. It's all about <laughs> time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's all about time. Yeah. yeah. No, I, it, yeah, I had the same issue situation happen, and you'd think that that would put me on the straight and narrow, but it didn't really. It so. did. Yeah. <laughs> once, once I did that during a test... It was all quiet. That's good time. That yeah, is good timing. that's a good timing. <laughs> that is good timing. <laughs> yes, I've made my statement about this test. Yeah. This is how I feel about this test. Yeah. Plus, you're making everyone else try to get through the test faster, just to get out of there. <laughs> ah, that's true. <laughs> you're kind of screwing the curve up. Thanks, you know, Elliot. Yeah. Okay, so this is the <laughs> last good. comparison: the government or French fries? Fries. Fries. Yeah, I eat a lot of fries. I love fries. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to go with the government because contrary. Just, because just to be contrary. contrary. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like you know we'd like to talk about anarchy, but I still think we need a government, even though it's a sucky government. We still need one. I Farm has a song that says, "If we can't police ourselves, then I guess we need police." <laughs> <laughs> Which I always thought was pretty great. I'm a potato head, so I have to go with French fries. Yeah, so. there you go. Yeah. Thank you guys so much, and I'm looking forward to the show tomorrow. All right, cool. Thank you, Elliot. Right. What's right. Exodus all about? Oh, I interviewed the singer, and he oh, threw me um, the wristband during the concert. Nice. Brad, that was cool. That was good. Band. Exodus. Yeah, good band. Carl and Stefan, why are you guys so awesome at playing bass and guitar? We learn where the wrong notes were and we avoid them. And we've we've been doing it a long time. I mean, you know, if if we're if if there's any awesomeness, it it came from practice and work. That it really did, you know, a lot. <laughs> I just started playing um guitar about like a month ago. I'm already doing Really yeah, well. getting the car. Awesome. Getting your chords, getting yeah. your chords all square. What, right on. What do they they used to say practice makes perfect, but I found someone put a slogan up that seems actually more accurate. It's practice makes progress. Cuz there's not really such a thing as perfect with music and art. It, whatever you think's cool, well that's perfect, you know. But if you practice your instrument, you'll get to where you can shred on it like they do.